It's all about more than just making art. Uh, it's always about giving youth who feel disconnected a chance to uh, come together and talk about what culture means to us. Quill Christy Peters created the Indigenous Youth Residency Program at the Thunder Bay Art Gallery. She said conversations exploring settler colonialism is a central part of the residency. And I'll kind of ground that conversation and how it's impacted my actual life. So I have things that I'll share about my father in residential school, about um, my reserve being flooded, all these different things I kind of have um, to share. For five weeks, these six youth worked with local artists, elders, and knowledge keepers. 22-year-old Karina McKay said learning about her culture is essential to her personal growth. We went on the reserve too, and then where we learned how to do spruce root picking, we learned how to make birch bark baskets, and it was like really, fun to realize that I kind of like really love that. <laughs> Christy Peters said the paid residency aims to give young people a safe space to feel connected. Sure, the program is highly intimate, um, very emotional, very exhausting, uh, which I think comes from, um, you know, Indigenous youth aren't really given the space to talk about colonialism and white supremacy, especially in this city. 16-year-old TJ Monroe said it was alienating when he was first moved to the city. I really did feel disconnected from everyone, especially from uh, moving uh, just off the res. So it was a huge change and um, something really to get used to. This collaborative piece is a reflection of their shared experiences. The red dress represents missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, two-spirit and transgendered. So the snake behind her is a manifestation of like colonialism and the uh, colonialism and capitalism, the, the plights that we have to go through, and she's turning her back on it, and then focusing on her own personal growth, which is why you see her with the medicine wheel. Monroe said the residency was eye-opening and emotional, but he's grateful for the experience. So I always felt the traumas that I have faced as uh, in in my childhood was always just uh, bad luck or anything. But after, with this program, it did help me, um, I'd say knowing the truth helped me heal more to just be able to have that reassurance that um, what happened to me was out of my control and it's up to me on how I choose to heal from that. Christy Peters wants to keep the residency program, which is funded by the Ontario Arts Council, running in the city. Willow Fiddler, APTN National News, Thunder Bay.